Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial which is more aimed at beginners um, to photo editing and especially Affinity Photo but we're going to look in at sort of document size the zooming in and the navigator tab this came about because in a Facebook group someone who is new to Affinity Photo had made a document where they had like the background they added some shapes and then they put some pictures into those shapes but when they were looking at it on Affinity Photo the images they put into the shapes were all pixelating even though the pictures when you know they imported them were of a really decent size and they couldn't understand the problem I sort of hopefully worked out what it was and I sort of helped that person to sort of work out what it is that was going wrong was the fact that it was the problem with the zooming in in Affinity Photo. Now the best way to probably display this is to start two new documents and I'm going to start one that is AO size which is pretty huge so I'm going to go AO I'm going to do it in the landscape format and I'm going to create that and I'm going to add a fill layer and I'm just going to rename this AO so I don't get confused between the two documents and then I will start another new document which is going to be A10 which is quite small again in the landscape format create and again add a fill layer and rename this A10. Now the difference between AO and A10 if I come to this website here um, this looks at different paper sizes and as you can see AO will fit 1024 A10 images into an AO size piece of paper so that is how much larger AO is to A10 so if I come back to Affinity Photo now the thing with Affinity Photo is it will display whatever image you open as best it can to fit the window size that you have so if you had some extra tabs over here like the library or the macro tabs that might be over here it will reduce this window size and Affinity Photo will accordingly shrink the image to fit the window size that is available so as we know AO is huge and it is currently zoomed in in the navigator tab here at 8% so if I go to the A10 image as you can see, visually, it is pretty much exactly the same as the AO document. I can just flip between the two. So when I'm on the A10 file here, this is zoomed in at 250% in the Navigator tab. As you can see, so where this one was like 8% or 77 as it says up here in the brackets, this one is 249.8 but it's just got it down here as 250 so this is the problem with working with very small sizes like A10 um, because when you look at it on screen it may look alright when you, whatever you put in there it's like a background but if you then have added a picture of some description that will also get zoomed in at 250 and may look pixelated to you and you may start worrying but the thing to remember is that if you print it out for example it will print out at 100% and that is probably the best way to view so if I go down to 100% which is there I mean it may find you may find it difficult to see what it is that you're working on but the image won't be pixelated so let me just 
Well, I'll leave those open for now. What I'll do is I'll open three images. They all come from pixabay.com. Um, where is it? Open recent. I want. There we go. I'm going to open that one. That one. And that one. So, because I've got three different images from Pixabay, and some in portrait, some in landscape. But as you can see up here, you can see in the brackets how much these are zoomed in by. But it's probably easier to see it down here in the navigator tab. So, this one is zoomed in at 40%. This one is zoomed in at 15%, because it is sort of a much bigger image. So it doesn't have to zoom in so much to fit the page and this other one is zoomed in at 46 percent so and the more it's sort of like zoomed in in the navigator tab or in the brackets up here you know that how it's, it's quite a small image and affinity photo is zooming in to help it fit into this image so that is something that you need to bear in mind if you bring in a background or something like that and you want to add stuff to it that it will it may pixelate when you look at it later because Affinity Photo is zooming in sort of for you I mean obviously you can bring this to a hundred percent either by dragging the cursor thing here or you can sort of use plus and minus but because you can't see the whole document when this one is zoomed at 100 percent it's very hard to tell any adjustments or things you add how they were how they're looking because you can't see the whole document which is why if you press control and zero it will bring it back to where affinity photos default setting is to view the whole image in the best possible way so let me just shut that one down and shut that one down now this one here if I I do have another open recent one here which is this is the same image and what I did was I took this image and I reduced its document size down to the A10 size and that is this one here so this one is zoomed in at roughly 40% but this one, which is the A10 size version of it, is zoomed in at 175 and a half, or 176 as it says down here. And as you can see, whereas this one is like pixel perfect sort of thing and crystal clear, this one here is starting to pixelate visually because it is zoomed in at 176%. The more you zoom in over the 100%, the more and more pixelated this will become. If I move this up to say 200, what's that? That's 500. You can see it's starting to pixelate. I mean, if I try and get to roughly the same point where her lips are, are about there. So even there, I'm not even at a hundred percent on this image. So that's a hundred, just under a hundred percent. See, pixel-wise, it is still really good. Whereas this one, at three, uh, it's three hundred and thirty-eight percent. You know, it is pixelating. So that is the difference between, you know, the size of the image or the background or whatever is very dependent on how it is zoomed in um, because if for example which is one the A10 is this the A10 one? yes it is let's say for example I wanted to add this image here into the A10 document so I'll just right click duplicate not duplicate I want to copy copy and come to this image the A10 one and I paste that in and obviously it is huge 
but as you can see if I come down here this is sort of starting to p pixelate although the original image you know at a hundred percent is this is not pixelating but because this is on this very small document and it is zoomed in at 195 percent which is probably not I do there we go that is what how affinity photo would zoom in uh, on an a10 image and that's 250 percent so as you can see that is starting to pixelate because it is such a small document but it's been zoomed in greatly I and mean, if I bring this back down to 100 percent go see that is now not doesn't look pixelated but it's very hard for you to see what you are going to be doing and that is why affinity photo starts off by zooming in so you do need to bear in mind when you open a document especially if it's a very small document what problems you may encounter down the road because of it looks okay to you visually and you're working away but you have to remember that you are zoomed in as a greater amount and it may not look good here but if you know you brought it down to the 100% or under 100% it will look better and this is the size that will be printed out um, not the zoomed in size so if it looks pixelated check that you are not zoomed over a hundred percent and if you are you sort of bear that in mind for when you sort of print it out or you post it online or what have you that it won't look like it's pixelated when you come to doing those things i hope that has made some sense and thank you for watching and goodbye